Hello everyone. So as promised, I am talking about initiative and powers. And now with some examples of uh, music industry, of uh, some uh, sexual energetic empires. The sexual energetic empires or injecting energetic empires uh, itself, they normally use, um, have attached to their field uh, entities, they are obsessors and they feed up from other people's energies so they can get energy because they don't have uh, their own energy you know those obsessive uh, those obsessors they can feed from a lot of kind of energies but um, like uh, happiness like um, uh, health, like uh, wealth, also they can feed off from sexual energy, and uh, they can feed off from your um, uh, energy, like uh, to activity, your active energy, your your intelligence. Also, they feed from a lot of things. Okay. So, when you um, have a relation, even if it's a one night stand, if, if, not, if it's not a, a long one, because I see a lot of um, long term commitments with uh, vampire, energy vampires, and I'm gonna show you a video. That video wasn't made for me, it was made from a TikToker. And that I thought it was really, really well made to exemplify how the before and after of the energetic vampire relation. I also uh, brought a situation from uh, Anita, which is a, a very well known singer from the actual actuality, and uh, she had this uh, clip with a uh, um, dancer. And I saw clearly, I just saw clearly uh, the effects of, um, of he has been with her. So the, under the eyes, you know, they were like this after, you know, I'm going to show you pictures because I just d did um, a capture of the video and you will see the the day before the day when she when he is with her and day after so it's clearly um a difference especially in the eyes because when you are drained and you are feeling really tired uh, the thing that you see the most is the eyes and by experience i did also when i had uh, a relationship with the uh, energetic vampire I felt really tired the day before the, the day after sorry and uh, also when I was living with my grandmother which is a black witch I was also uh, really tired now I'm tired not because of that you know I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going through some um, hardship and I'm sleeping uh, I'm sleeping in the streets, so it's really hard to sleep in the streets because we are always, uh, um, you know, seeing if someone is coming. Uh, it's not the same to sleep in a bed, so yeah. But um, that's why I look really tired. Uh, fortunately, I didn't sleep with anyone. Uh, not a single uh, energetic uh, vampire lately, and I'm so grateful for it. Um, it's not that I didn't have the chance to, but I uh, no, no. My energy is really, my energy is uh, really 
precious to be sharing with energetic vampires, you know. Not anymore, honey. Not anymore. So, uh, energetic vampires um, uh, also cannot be can can be sexual, you know. Uh, most of narcissistic personality pers people have uh, energetic vamp uh, are energetic vampires because they have um, obsessors attached to them, even if they don't do black magic. Uh, and I, I, I tell you because I, um, the, the guy I was dating with, he was, he wasn't doing black magic, but uh, his uh, wife did black magic to him. We started to date. He didn't tell me he had uh, a wife. I only knew after. But I realized he was being vamp um, vampirized by some someone, and I realized it was a woman. But um, when he told me he was he had a wife, and I said, "Okay, it's, it's, it's his wife." And um, since he was being vampirized, you know, he was vampirized by <laughs> by uh, his wife. He didn't have any energy left for him, so he searched for other woman. He told me clearly that he didn't. It wasn't fa He wasn't at all faithful to his wife, and uh, so he was always searching for sexual energy to feed from, to have energy for himself, and um, and. This situation was really draining for me. I was trying to heal myself at the time. And he had narcissistic traits also. My grandfather, which was also vampirized by my grandmother, also had narcissistic traits. So, oh, my twin flame, I didn't have anything with him. I didn't have anything with him. Thank God I didn't. Thank God it was uh, it was um, protection. Rejection was protection in this case, really, uh, because I fell for him and I told him how much I loved him. But um, he was being vampirized by his uh, girlfriend. There was doing black magic to him. So if I did had something with him, like for sexual. Uh, I would be vampirized too because he, he, he was full of uh, obsessors uh, sent sent by um, her girlfriend, uh, his girlfriend, sorry, <laughs> his girlfriend. And uh, if I did had something with him, because at that time I was so in love, I was so, uh, you know, blinded by love that I didn't realize what I was going to, you know, I was um, willing to do anything to be with that uh, with that uh, guy. I was willing to do anything. I was willing to go against anything, any force. And um, in fact, I was going against it. And. Um, then uh, his girlfriend did also spells on me while my grandmother was doing it also. And um, I realize now that I was really protected by when he said no. And he just, you know, he split, he split and it was really hurtful. And I, I, it was really grief for me. It was really hard to overcome the pain. But uh, if I did had something with him, it would be much worse because my energy would be directly drained for him, from him, and um, and I would uh, also get some energy from um, his girlfriend because when you you deal with an energetic vampire or whatever partner you, you deal with. You always switch energies. So 
you receive a portion of energy from that person and you give a portion of your energy to uh, that person. So, uh, if the energy is bad, if, if the, peop the person in case have bad karma, if the person has uh, depression issues, uh, mental issues, emotional issues, whatever it is, if the person otherwise it's uh, have a good health, is a, an emotional stable person, uh, it's a wealth person, etc., etc., you will receive that. So be aware <coughs> who you share your energy with. What were you going to get to um, with you are when you are uh, having sex? Because it really can affect your energy or benefit you, you know. And um, it's really. Um, I see people now banalizing sex and understand this. I'm not a person that says, that, oh, you have to have sex only when you're married. Oh, you have to have sex with one, only one partner. And, uh, you know, I'm not a judgmental person. Well, if I, if I want to, um, I can have multiple partners if I want to, okay? Doesn't mean that I won't have, like, uh, in a month or whatever... You know, if I have uh, partners that I can feel, that I can trade my my sexual energy with, okay. If I feel okay, I will. I don't. I don't care. You know, what I do care if I am trading my sexual energy with an energetic vampire or not. So, you have these common symptoms before. You take the step. How do you feel when you are around this person before you have sex with that, with them? Do you start to feel tired? Do you, do you start to feel uh, uh, your head? Your um, head start to uh, stay heavy. How do you feel before? Hmm? Do you feel like uh, you know energetic? You know, like um, in you know, you, you excited, you know. What is the energy before? Mm? Are, you, are you feeling depressed? Are you feeling sad? How do you feel? Because if you are already depressed, okay, I understand. But if you're not, if you go to that person and suddenly start feeling tired, depressed, and so, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't ruin your energy over a good time, a pleasant time, you know. It will be costing you much more. <laughs> the sexual energy of another partner can be stuck in your, in your body for years, you know, for years. And uh, if it isn't a good energy, it will cost you a lot. It will cost you a lot. So, I wanted to leave this message because I see now people are talking sex, 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 sex. You hear music, sex, 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 sex. sex. Let's do it. Let's uh, sing to Dina. Uh, you know, uh, fuck with me if you wanted to, whatever, whatever. You know, I don't care how many partners you have, if you have an orgy, if you have a, um, you know, a threesome, if you have, I don't care. What I do care is start to select your partners and understand that energy is real. If you trade your energy in a bad way, you will suffer the results for a long time understand this if you are struggling now alone 
if you want to begin your sexual life, go for it. But remember the steps. Remember, it will be really, really useful. Okay? So, now I'm gonna pass the videos, okay, and the photos uh, with the information. Okay? Love you. Bye. This one's even creepier and it's right in front of us. Megan Fox is totally an energy vampire and her engagement and her other marriage make it obvious. This beautiful man is 32 and this beautiful woman is 35. I know they're already engaged but they haven't been together long, only like two years. Here they are around the time when they first started publicly dating. Look at his face, he still looks like MGK. Like nothing has changed really. So they started dating around the beginning of 2020 and here's a really good example of his face before he really, really got involved with her. See how it's so full and pigmented? This is another really good example. Just look at, look at how full his face is and the, you can see his aura. Like you can just feel his energy just based off these pictures. It's also really prevalent if you watch videos. His skin just looks so alive. And this is a really good example because he's smiling and like you see his lines obviously, but just look at his face. Look at him now. The difference is just so creepy. Just look at that shift. It's, it's obvious. Look at her and then him and then back at her. He looks drained but she's glowing. Like, compare his aura to this picture and this picture. He's just, like, deteriorated. This TikToker pointed out his smile. Like, look at it here and here. Like, in less than two years. Like, here he was before. I mean, there's definitely something there and you either get it or you don't. But... See how there was a shift in his face and his looks? How drained he looked after being with Megan Fox. This is what happens when you get involved with an uh, energetic vampire. And understand, she was glowing, you know, because she is feeding off of his energy, his vital energy. Do you really want to? experience this do you really want to be all draining all the time i have another story i wanted to share that i remember now <coughs> i met this guy uh, his name was johnny uh, johnny was his nickname but uh, he liked to be uh, called by that he was uh, when I was living in a hostel, he was a Brazilian man, really cute, really, really cute. And uh, he had this girlfriend. And his girlfriend was a witch. She was doing black magic to him. I felt it. And he was really coughing uh, in, in the night, like uh, the cough when you are being drained uh, out of your throat chakra, you know? That's how energetic vampires drain your energy from your throat chakra, your solar plexus also, but mainly from your throat chakra. It's a chakra of power, okay? So, it was, sorry, it's not a good, okay. So, let me tell you. He had suicidal thoughts all the time. He wanted to kill himself. Uh, he used to sleep. Understand? Sleep from one minute to other. He was like this, talking, and then he slept. If he was sleeping in the inside the shower, he was sleeping while he was, uh, you know, walking. It was severe, draining energy, severe. And um, at that time, I re I thought, should I tell him? I asked my spirit guys, should I tell him what's going on? And they said, no, no, he's not prepared to hear it. You you won't even hear it, hear you. You have already experienced this. 
have already told someone he is being drained, he is being uh, black magic, and is and uh, ignored it because he wasn't prepared. He wasn't. Um, he didn't want to face the truth. So I realized I I couldn't tell him. And also his mother, while I was remembering the story, came down to me. Also his mother is an energetic, energetic vampire. So he was searching for a similar energy to his mother because men usually find a partner with a similar energy to his mother because his mother figure is uh, the... Um, it's the figure, you know, the the example. They they tend to to search in a partner. Uh, as my uh, twin flame, also his mother uh, was doing some spells. She she is worse with than uh, his girlfriend, uh, and she really tried to <laughs> shut me down. When I was trying to tell him, I didn't tell him also about his mother, I didn't tell him. He wasn't prepared for that, and I said, okay. Oh, I, at the time, I think I was not speaking with him anymore, when I found out this. Anyway, um, it's really hard when you search for this image you have to do the inner work so you do not attract the same and also i realized one thing well, while i was trying to uh, make this video and i remember all these examples uh, both of them the guys they had the time where they were really manipulative okay uh, my two friends, I didn't have a lot of contact with him, like, um, but my spirit guides put me on, um, on track, put me on the, on the information of his uh, previous patterns in life and also the current ones he was having while we were, um, Part and why we were um, having a, a relationship of uh, work because that's all we had a relationship of work, you know. I was a student, he was my teacher, that's where we went. So, um, he liked to he liked to manipulate women so that could have, you know, sex. And also, this guy uh, that I met, Johnny, he was doing the same when I, he was young, because we we had one day, like one day, while we, that we had much time to come, to talk. It was the day he left the hostel. And I just felt like he didn't want it to go, because he, he that it, it, make, it made an excuse, like a really silly excuse to, to start to talk to me, like in a deeper level. So we started to talk and he had this um, knowledge about um, uh, body language, you know, body language. And he used it for manipulating women to have sex with him. Yep, you did it. So, when he found a woman, you know, that he truly liked, or he think he liked, because he's in effect enchanted by a black magic. But of course, he might have some interest before that happened. I believe so. But uh, before he got stuck in that relationship, that is now being, he is now being the manipulated one without even knowing. 
you know. So, this is a video about energetic vampires, but I wanted to also bring this topic about the manipulation and how you get back the manipulation to your life. You have manipulating, manipulated, uh, manipulating gifts. A manipulation can be a gift or can be a curse. Okay. It depends on where you use your manipulation skills. Okay. If you use your manipulation skills to bring something positive to someone's life, to improve someone's life to you know to find a better job but without uh, you know having this uh, need to um, hurt people you know you will get so much more benefit from the universe if you use your manipulation skills in a bad way baby honey People that are seeing me, you will be the m manipulated one. And for much longer than you even realize. It all was so clear when I realized this. And then at the time I didn't realize, I was like, okay, yeah, I didn't, you know fit the puzzle so now that I fit it I can now share with you so you can really start to acknowledge what is happening to your life is that a, a situation is that a consequences of your, of your choices of previous choices you are you have time now to decide different you have time now to transform the way you use your skills okay your skills are a gift but if you use it, you don't use it in a beneficial way for all you'll get the the same results that you put it when you use your skills. Be aware of that. So, I will show you the pictures before. First one. Before the uh, dancer. I don't know his name. His name. It will appear in the, in the capture. When it was with Anita and after. Okay? You will see the face. Look at the eyes, okay? They are, it's really, really notable, okay? Thank you very much. Love you all.